A juror who voted to acquit former Sheriff Lee Baca opens up about the backlash he experienced after December's mistrial. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez spoke today to the woman who was calling out the judge of the second trial now underway. First, a mistrial in Lee Baca's case. Now, a dramatic changeup in prosecution strategy. In the middle of it all, this 23-year-old who wants her name withheld. I turned on the radio and you hear um, certain radio hosts making fun of us for our decision. She was among 11 voting to acquit the former sheriff and was approached by prosecutors who wanted to know why. One element, inmate abuse, the reason the FBI went undercover in the jail. Number 12 says, not so relevant. Baca not accused of beatings. In the current case, prosecutors decided not to call multiple witnesses who had testified about deputy brutality, focusing instead on Baca's alleged illegal acts to stonewall the FBI. Yet, abuse is vital, says former federal prosecutor Miriam Krinsky. Shifting away is risky. You need in this case to get the jury to care and to see this as more than just a food fight between two law enforcement agencies. She says the thinking of the last jury could have been a fluke. At the same time, she says prosecutors are challenged to show hard evidence of Baca's involvement. And the higher up you go in an organization, the fewer fingerprints you see of leadership on the direct acts. Guilty or not guilty, I truly don't believe he's getting a fair trial right now. Juror 12 points to comments made by Judge Percy Anderson, who questioned the jury's understanding of the case and the judge's consistent rulings against Baca. It really is scary to see, you know, the prosecution starts their opening statements with abuse of power, and I think that's exactly what's going on in there. Krinsky says the judge, who has now presided over five related trials, he's a bigger picture. He's no stranger to the underlying acts in this case. He's no stranger to the misconduct, criminal convictions, and lengthy sentences that others received. Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News.